Yes, everybody, welcome back to Five Things That We Learned. My name is Stephen Allison, and here's what we learned watching United against Newcastle and paying 15 quid for the privilege. Number one, then, Harry Maguire is fighting back. Yesterday, Maguire had a pretty decent game. He was um, pretty assured, obviously, his goal really helped. And actually, more than anything else, I actually think that his goal probably did more than resting him for the game. Now, I said I would have dropped him. Um, I think Oli should have dropped him, but I didn't think Oli was going to drop him and that proved to be accurate because as you look at you look at all the different options that you had prior to the Newcastle game and you go, these are a direct team. These are a team that have got some real big target men that they could use. If you don't play Harry Maguire, what's going to happen is you play Luke Shaw or wan or Lindelof or any combination of those guys at the back or as a back two or a back three, what's going to happen is they're going to get bullied in the air. Now you play Harry Maguire... And here's what happens. 86% aerial duels won. Seven ball recoveries, four interceptions, three clearances. He was close to getting a second goal. He had a, a fantastic header for his first to get us back on level terms. Harry Maguire silenced critics in the best possible way by putting in a good performance on the pitch. Now, I certainly don't think that that just eradicates any issues with him. But if you would had left him out against Newcastle, which I didn't think was a feasible option as much as I wanted him to take him out of the team, then when do you bring him back in? Do you bring him back in for Paris? Probably not. But now I think he starts against Paris with a little bit more pep in his step, a little bit more confidence, and a little bit more, I'm an £80 million signing and we're having it. Number two, Bruno was absolutely class. Now, yes, Bruno did miss a pen. That was his 11th. He scored 10 out of 10 so far for Manchester United. Uh, and I guess it was coming eventually, wasn't it? He didn't do the little hop and, and skip and, and run up and all the rest of that sort of stuff. And we will have uh, Ryan Opera, his coach, on tomorrow to maybe talk about that a little bit, wonder why he didn't do that. But he was great in every other area. He created six chances on his own. And actually... If we take a step back and look at this thing holistically, this was Bruno's 27th game for Manchester United, and in that he's got 12 goals, sorry, 15 goals and 12 assists. That's 27 goal contributions in 27 games. Now, he's not played full matches in all of those games. He's actually only played 24 matches worth of minutes, uh, which means that he's 27 in 27 with a little bit extra. You can't ask for more than that. And I've seen a couple of people going, I don't think he was very good today. Okay, but he scores and he assists and, and you're still like, yeah, not feeling him. How many times can you say that without looking mental? Elsewhere in the game, obviously he had five shots, three on target, five ball recoveries, four tackles, one three interceptions, one goal, one assist. Five games so far, three goals, three assists. Can't say fairer than that. Number three, matter is more important than we think. In my preview, I said that I thought he was going to go with Dan James. I was right. I also thought he was going to start with Mason Greenwood, which is why I only put in Dan James. But also in the preview, I said I could understand if he doesn't go for Dan James and he goes for one matter instead. I expected a low block from Newcastle. And if you're going to be playing against a team with a low block, you don't play players with pace. Because if you're playing against a team with a low block, there is nowhere for them guys to run in behind. Um, and Juan Mata is a guy that works in between the lines, someone that you've got a brilliant touch with, someone that's going to link play together, and that was exactly what he did for United yesterday against Newcastle. 94% pass accuracy, 34 uh, final third passes, three chances created, three ball recoveries, two out of three crosses, uh, and in three games, Juan Mata has scored two and assisted two. So that puts some respect on his name. Number four, Dr. Marcus Rashford, MBE, is mint. Now, Marcus Rashford has been uh, having a lot of people on his case at the moment. Some people saying he should stick to feeding kids. Some people saying he should stick to playing football and concentrate on what he's doing best. But Marcus Rashford in yesterday's game was doing exactly what he's paid to do for Manchester United. At times, he looked unplayable in a position that he's not looked at his best at previously, which is playing central for Manchester United. Marcus managed to produce two assists and one goal, which meant that he played a part in three out of the four goals that Manchester United scored. And even with a quiet start to the season by anyone's standards, and, and certainly by his own standards, he's now got three goals and two assists in just six games. So you can't really be asking for a lot more than that, even though we would probably all agree Marcus hasn't really hit the ground running at all this season. But it whets the appetite for what could come should we actually start playing some proper football 
on a regular basis. And number five, United did well to bounce back. Coming back from a 6-1 defeat into an international break with everything that's going on surrounding with coronavirus, you've got Paul Pogba going away on um, international duty and starting talking to the press. You've got all of these issues surrounding your captain and whether or not he's in trouble with the law. You've got question marks over your goalkeeper, who should start, this guy or this guy. You've got everyone wondering who your centre-half is going to partner with, the one that might be going to jail, who's going to be the one that plays alongside him or even takes his place. You've signed not enough players, you didn't sign the superstar. You've got this guy just coming in, a couple of youngsters. Everything that was going on surrounding Manchester United, we lose 6-1, it goes into an international break. It must be a killer for a manager because you can't immediately get right on Monday morning how you're going to fix this and how you're going to turn it around. Add on to that as well, Newcastle been in sensational form of late. Steve Bruce is doing a brilliant job at Newcastle. He's got them playing and he's got them resilient at the back as well. To go to St. James's and win in the manner that Manchester United did is good work in any era. So hats off to Manchester United, hats off to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and fuck the haters because they don't matter anyway. Cheers for tuning in. See you in the next one.